myths that we will debunk on this video. Myth number one, most if not all of the classes here in Native Camp are just sudden classes simply because the students don't want to pay more. They're contented in just, you know, being practical and paying $1 or 55 Philippine pesos per class. And myth number two, it's extremely difficult to be fully booked because no one wants to pay more and book your classes. So those are like myths that we're going to be debunking. I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm going to prove them wrong that here in Native Camp, it's indeed possible to be fully booked. You just have to know the reason why you just get sudden classes. And that's the goal of this video, teacher. The goal is for you to realize why you just keep on getting sudden classes. Because to be very honest with you, starting the second or third week, uh, starting my second or third week here in Native Camp, I've already been fully booked. Um, and if I could do it, you can do it. And that's the reason why I'm sharing this video, because I'm going to make you realize, even though it kind of hurts, <laughs> you know that the truth hurts, right? Even though it kind of hurts to share with you the reasons why all of your classes or most of your classes are just sudden classes. Well, the goal is not to hurt you but to be an eye opener that, hey, okay, I've been doing these things on my classes. Maybe, yeah, that's the reason why I'm not fully booked. That's the reason why all of my classes are sudden classes. Because teacher, you want to be paid more, right? And you're a native camp. If it's a book class, you get paid 80 to 104 pesos per 25 minute class. And of course, if you're a native speaker, you're going to be paid more. Who doesn't want to be paid more, right? So anyway, before we get started with the video, to those of you who'd like to be a part of Native Camp, all you got to do is send me an email at askteacherkaren at gmail.com to my future students all over the world who would like to have private classes with me starting June when I'm going to be back um, and when I'm going to be resuming work as a private class teacher. Um, all you got to do is send me an email, get in touch through WeChat. You can also get in touch through my line account. So teacher, let's get started. Reason number one teaches, well, the student doesn't want to pay more. Pretty obvious, right? Uh, why would they want to pay more if there's an option to get something cheaper? But the thing is, teacher, are you cheap? Do you have like a low value, low monetary value? No, you aren't. You're a good teacher. So you better prove to them why you're worth it. You better give them a reason to realize that, hey, I am willing to pay more for this teacher because she or he is really good at what you do, because he or she is a passionate teacher, because my child learns a lot from this teacher, because I learn a lot from this teacher. So, of course, the, the primary reason why they don't want to book your classes is because there is an option to book a cheaper class, right, which is just going to be like a dollar or 55 Philippine pesos. So, Every single time you have classes, the goal that you, you have to have in mind is that I got to I got to give this student a reason to pay more, to spend more money because he or she realizes that I am worth more. I'm not just worth a dollar. I am not just worth 55 pesos. And I really make them experience um, what they are paying for. The value of their money is experience in my class. So. Um, teaches, uh, just an FYI, whenever you have a sudden class, uh, the student only pays a dollar. But when you have a book class, the student pays more. If you're a native speaker, it's about like 500 native camp coins. If you're like um, a near native speaker like me, it's going to be around 100 native camp coins. So that's 80 pesos to 104 pesos per book class. Um, in the Philippine standards, that's a lot to be paid 104 pesos per 25 minute classes. And you just don't have to do anything but just show up in class and do your job, right? It's not even like a private class where you have to do everything. So um, in my opinion, if you get to, you know, make your student realize why they have to pay more, then you'd be able to earn more here in Native Camp. And who doesn't want that, right?
Reason number two, which may hurt a little, you did not meet their standards. Um, teaches, nowadays, every consumer is already educated. They're educated enough to read reviews. They're educated enough to know what to look for when they spend their money. Um, they know what red flags are. And the thing here is, if you do not meet the student's standards, you will just meet them once and that's through a sudden class or maybe you're going to meet them several times but only through the cheaper option which is through a sudden class when we say meeting a student's standards that means you were able to like get a high score on their quality check that hey this is a credible teacher this is a good teacher and if you are aren't able to meet their standards don't expect that you will be having book classes with them so if you're like thinking ah oh, this is a terrible company i hate native cam i'm not getting any book classes how come on this company i'm getting lots of book classes well the reason is in native camp you're not going to get any book classes if you do not meet the student standards if you're just a mediocre teacher i know i know it hurts i'm sorry to hurt your feelings but you really have to up your game here in native camp you have to make the student realize that hey this is a teacher worth my time this is a teacher worth every dollar that i spend every native camp coin that i spend this teacher is worth it now what are those basic standards that your students have um, for their teachers well usually it would be um, your your knowledge your knowledge of english um, how you are able to uh, answer their questions uh, do they feel that you are credible to teach or is there is there lots of dead air uh, um, in your classes um, they also get to judge you based on based on your your capability to add value to the class like when they have classes with you do they actually learn something or do they feel that you're just reading from a script when they have classes with you do they feel happy or do they feel so bored that they keep on looking at the time but hey we still have 10 minutes i want this class to be over another teaching standard would be of course their overall experience of your class do you look like a professional teacher or do you have terrible lighting or do you have terrible audio or do your students keep on hearing chickens uh, motorcycles dogs or people chit-chatting whenever they have classes with you therefore they are always distracted right uh, what's your background teacher does it look like um that you're in your home or does it somehow look professional that you're an esl teacher because that affects the the experience even your internet connection that's like a you know a basic expectation that your connection has to be stable you have to look and sound professional and if you don't meet that then obviously you won't meet their standards and one last thing teacher that would allow you to meet their standards is to have you know different teaching methods that you choose depending on your student's profile, depending on your student's personality, depending on their level, you know, uh, what teaching styles am I pertaining to? Translanguaging, you know, translating to their native tongue, um, using TPR, such as gestures, whenever you are teaching something, you use gestures to make it easier for them to understand, or other common um, teaching methodology would be using props like uh, realia, uh, <laughs> a microphone, any prop that you have at home to make the, the class even more exciting. And let's say you could also have like an interactive approach when teaching, wherein instead of the student just, you know, repeating after you over and over again, you get to have them do things for you, like show this to me, um, uh, point to this, point to that. Uh, can you write on your notebook, write on a whiteboard and so on? All of these things matters because, you know, uh, to be able to meet their standards, you really have to make sure that they learn from you and that the learning process is actually fun. Reason number three, you were forgettable. The goal here, teacher, is to be unforgettable 
you want to be unforgettable. And how would you be unforgettable? You have to exceed expectations. You know, teachers, it's not enough that you just meet what they expect from you. You have to exceed that so that you're going to be memorable. So that among all the teachers that they've had, they're always going to remember the name Karen or whatever your name is, right? You want to be unforgettable. And when I say exceeding expectations, you know, it's just like when you eat at a fast food restaurant. Let's say in the Philippines, Jollibee is one of the most popular fast food restaurants. So when we say that Jollibee was able to meet my expectations, uh, let's say uh, you were hungry and now you're no longer hungry. Your tummy is filled and you now have energy. That's a basic expectation when you go to fast food, right? But to exceed your expectation, you got to have a great experience at Jollibee. The The customer service should be, uh, should be great. Uh, they should be able to provide um, fast service. They have to be accommodating and the food should be Mm, so delicious. I want more chicken joy. I want more spaghetti and I'm going to go back to Jollibee. <laughs> so that should be like the experience that your students must have from you. You have to be unforgettable in such a way that you were able to stand out. That's the goal, teacher. A lot of people can do what you can do. There are thousands, if not millions, of ESL teachers around the world. But what can you do that other ESL teachers cannot? What can you offer this student that other teachers can't offer? So what are those? You can do crazy things like me. I'm animated in class. I'm always happy, even though I have you know, personal issues, especially with my pregnancy. Um, you can use props. You can use different teaching methods to stand out. You can even sing, dance, or do some miming, or have a puppet show, or do some magic tricks, ventriloquy in class, so that you're going to be memorable. They're going to remember, oh, uh, teacher Ken, this is the teacher who who sung with me in class. Oh, teacher Maria. Teacher Maria was the teacher who did some magic tricks with me. We also played rock, paper, scissors in class. So if you're able to exceed their expectations, you know, the basic expectation is to learn, right? To learn English. But if you give them more than that, they had fun in your class. They learned a lot. You taught them a lot of things other than what was offered by the textbook of, of Native Camp. You taught them a lot of things because you had a lot of knowledge to share on top of what's covered on the on the on the lesson material because they had those great experiences you teacher will be unforgettable and if you are unforgettable trust me they're going to look for your name and the moment you open your schedule pum 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 you're going to be fully booked that's what usually happens to me i open my schedule pum 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 after two to three minutes, I'm fully booked. I'm not here to boast, but I'm here to tell you that what I'm sharing with you actually yields results, right? That you're going to be fully booked if you choose to listen to me or maybe, you know, um, choose to assess your teaching skills and improve them. So there you have it. That's going to be our reason number three. And finally, teaches reason number four. The reason why you don't have book classes and you're stuck with sudden classes would be there was no connection. You were not their favorite teacher. You were not able to have a relationship with your student. You were not able to connect with them. So your question is, okay, so how am I going to be able to connect with my student? The best and the easiest way to connect with your student is to Make them feel that you truly care about them, that you are truly and sincerely interested in knowing them, that you are there to be a friend or a second parent or a companion so that they're going to be able to have a great experience. They're going to have fun as they learn English. If you truly make your students feel that you care for them and you're not just doing this for the money, you will be establishing a connection and that connection will be the basis of whether or not they're going to be booking your class or they're just going to be forgetting about you.
That's why establishing rapport is extremely important. That's what I do every single time I have a class. May it be the first time I have a class with someone or like the 250th time I had a class with someone. I always establish a connection during the first uh, one to two minutes of the class. I ask them about their day. I notice something, you know, different about them. Hey, did you have a haircut? Ooh, I really like your watch. Ooh, what's up behind you? Is that Sumiko Garashi? Uh, is that Pokemon? Is that, you know, th random things like those. And of course, if it's an adult, I won't treat them like kids. I'm going to ask them about how was work. I'm going to notice if they had their hair done. I'm going to remember things about them that even though I haven't seen them in like months or weeks. Oh, I remember you. You're Lucas with the with the wife, right? Or, or, or things like, oh, Nina, you're a nurse, right? Did I remember correctly? Or let's say um, I'm going to be meeting... Uh, Eugene, Eugene, teacher missed you. How's your brother? So th those little things actually strengthen your relationship. And a strong relationship with your student means that you will be one of their favorite teachers because they like how they feel when, when they're around you, when, when they have a class with you. Therefore, if they like how they feel, not only what they experience, but how they feel when they have a class with you, they will be booking your classes. There you go, teachers, the four reasons why you're just stuck with sudden clashes. And as you can see, the two myths that I've told you about that, you know, students, uh, all of your students will just be sudden classes or sudden students simply because they're not willing to pay more. And then the other one is it's so difficult to have book classes here in Native Camp. They're not true because all of those things are just, you know, things that other people say because they've already given up. Don't give up, teacher. If I can do it, you can do it. If I can up my, you know, my teaching skills and if I could give my best, best foot forward and really give my students a great experience, you can also do it. You got to make your students feel that you are doing this job not only for the money, but simply because you care about them and you really want them to learn something from you. So teachers, I hope that this has been an eye opener. Again, the goal is not to insult you and your teaching capabilities, but to make you realize that there is always room for improvement. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, Teacher Karen, comment below if you have video requests or questions. And of course, um, please don't hesitate to click that bell icon so that every time I have video uploads on Saturdays and or Wednesdays, you're gonna get notified. So. Be a blessing to the people around you. I'm going to see you next week. Bye-bye.